Lord, we ask pour out your spirit on us. Gospodine, molimo te izli svoga svetoga duha na nas. You are all we need. Ti si sve ono što nam treba. Whatever people tell us, whatever world, world tell us, we need on you. Bez obzira što nam svijet oko nas govori, mi trebamo samo tebe. You are all we need. Ti si sve što nam treba. We are going to, uh, to go more deep. Sad ćemo malo ići deeper još dublje i dublje. So, I'm not sure how can I introduce this uh, uh, precious uh, gentleman. Nisam siguran But, kako mogu ispravno pre, uh, predstaviti ovoga dragocjenog gospodina. But you are kind of like Jesus was. A kaže ti si nekako poput kao što je Isus bio. Because uh, they said like nobody will knew where he's come from. Jer niko nije znao odakle dolazi. Kevin Carr, ja sam mislio da sam mislio da moj život je dobar. I didn't mean crucifixion, so uh, maybe you can tell us more about yourself, where you from, actually. Znači, možeš nam nešto reći više o sebi odakle dolaziš. But anyway, uh, please welcome Kevin. Ali u svakom slučaju, poželjamo dobrodošljstvo Kevinu, Kevin Bridges. I remember very clearly the 19th of February this year. Jako mi je ostalo snažno u sjećanju 19. veljače ove godine. I woke up very early in the morning at 5 o'clock. Probudio sam se jako rano u 5 sati ujutro. And together with Johannes and Carol, we drove for 8 hours. I zajedno sa Johannesom i Karol vozili smo 8 sati. We were in America at the time and we drove from Augusta all the way up to a very small village. Jer bili smo tada u Americi i u mjestu koje se zove Ogasta i vozili smo prema jednom malom selu osam sati. Small town of about two or three thousand people. A, to je jedan kao mali gradić između dvije i tri tisuće a, stanovnika. Just before we arrived, there was a powerful move of God. Uh, prije nego što smo došli do cilja, uh, dogodio se jedan uh, jako snažan uh, Boži pokret. Some students had gathered to pray. Neki su se studenti okupili da mole. And the Holy Spirit came. I došao je Duh Sveti. When we arrived there, it was entering a different world. I kad smo tamo stigli, ušli smo u jedan totalno drugi svijet. Tens of thousands of people gathered in worship and prayers. The seti tisuća ljudi su se okupili, slavili i molili. You could sense God's presence. Moglo se osjetiti njegovo prisustvo. It was like a taste of heaven. Bilo je kao okus neba. And yet in the midst of this, it was something which was very ordinary. Ali čak i to među tom, na tom susretu uh, je bilo nešto što se događalo čak uobičajeno because the same god that was there was here this morning jer isti uh, ono što je nama poznato je isti bog koji je bio tamo prisutan je s nama tu prisutan you could sense a hunger in people's hearts uh, moglo se osjetiti uh, glad u ljudskim u, u ljudim u srcima ljudi And it reminded me of when I first gave my life to God. I to me posjetilo na prvi put kada sam ja predao život svoj Bogu. There was a hunger for God. Bio je tu glad za Bogom. We'd spend hours praying, hours reading the Bible. Uh, provodeći sate uh, i sate moleći i čiteći Bibliju. God wants to reawaken within us that first love. Bog želi da ponovo probudi uh, tu prvu ljubav i taj, taj, uh, tu glad za prvom ljubavi. To bring us again into a place of intimacy, a place of closeness and prayer. Kako bi nas ponovo privukao u intimno sa sobom u blizinu njegovu u molitvi. God created us for intimacy. Bog nas je stvorio za intimnost. Intimacy with him and intimacy with each other. Intimnost je prisnost s njim i jedni s drugima. At the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, na početku Bože riječi, Biblije, čitamo u knjizi postanka. We read that God walked in the cool of the night. He walked with Adam. 
I čitamo kako je tamo hodio po vrtu, jedinskom vrtu, čak i po noći sa Adamom. Adamom. And after the fall, he cries out, Adam, where are you? A nakon pada, Adama, jeve, Bog je došao i povikao, Adame, gdje si? That longing of God's heart, that longing for intimacy and connection is written throughout the pages of the scriptures. I ta, ta čežnja Božja za, pri, za prisnošću sa Adamom i sa, sa ljudskim bićem pokazuje to nama u Bibliji koliko on žeđa za tim. And when we look at the end of the story in Revelation, i kada gledamo znači kraj te priče u knjizi uh, otkrivenja, there's a beautiful verse in Revelation 21:3. U knjizi otkrivenja postoji jedan predivan redak 21:3. And you can hear the, the heart of the Father. And now at last, it's almost at last, the dwelling place of God is with man. Na kojem se kaže, sada na koncu, napokon, mjesto prebivanja Božjega je među ljudima. God desires a close, intimate connection with us. Jer Bog želi da ima prisan odnos nama. He's more interested in us and our relationship with Him than anything which we could do. Uh, on je toliko zainteresiran za naš naš život, za nas, da mi uh, ne, ne postoji ništa što bi mogli učiniti više od toga. He's more interested in our relationship with him than any ministry we could do, than any impact we could have in the world. On je više uh, zainteresiran i zanima se za, za nas, za naš život, nego što mi možemo išta služiti, toliko više služiti u svijetu i koliko god mi imali utjecaj u svijetu, njegova želja je veća. I would even say there are times when God will take you out of ministry. Čak postoji i vrijeme, znači kada nas Bog uzme iz naše službe. If ministry is becoming a false god to you. Jer zato što naša služba postaje lažni Bog nama. Because God is a jealous God. Jer Bog je ljubomoran Bog. A God who desires to be with you. Jer Bog želi da bude s tobom. God is interested in the story of our lives. I Boga zanima priča našega života. Intimacy with God is not just knowledge about God. I ta prisnost ne znači sa Bogom ne znači samo naša spoznaja o Bogu. God wants to know us personally, he wants us to know him personally. On nas želi osobno upoznati, želi da da mi njega osobno upoznamo. To know his character. Da znam pozna, upoznamo njegov karakter to know his njegov, ways njegov narav, njegov, njegov put to know his heart da upoznamo njegovo srce for the whole of eternity the angels around the throne are crying holy 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 za cijelu vječnost anđeli neprestano kliču ispred prijestolja božjega svet 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 because they're understanding something more about who god is zato što oni imaju veću spoznaju veće razumijevanje o tome tko je bog there's always more to to who God is more that he wants to show us. Jer Bog je puno više od onoga ono što on jeste od onoga što nama pokazuje. When we look in the Bible we see many stories about people's lives. I kada gledamo u Bibliju postoje mnoge priče o životima ljudi iz, iz Biblije. We see the good, the bad, the ugly. Vidimo i, i ružno i dobro i i, uh, i loše. We see times when they get it right and times when they got it get it wrong. Mi mi vidimo vremena, znači kada su ljudi bili u pravu i radili su dobro i vidimo kada su griješili. And yet God is faithful. God God is faithful yeah. in all. Ali Bog ali Bog je vjeran u svemu. He's with us in the ups and the downs. On je s nama i kad padamo i kad kad se dižemo. He's with us in the times when we feel close to him. On je s nama uh, i kad, kada ga osjećamo blizu k sebi. And he's with us in the times of the wilderness. A on je s nama i kada smo u pustini, kada ga ne osjećamo. The times when our heart is longing and thirsting for him. Uh, u vrijem, vremenu kada naše srca uh, uh, žude uh, za njim. What matters in our relationship with him. Ono što je važno u našem odnosu s njim. Is not how we feel. Nije ono kako se mi osjećamo. It's that covenant, that commitment. To je više kao savez, predanje. In any relationship there are tests and trials. Uh, 
U svakom odnosu postoje znači kušnje i nevolje. And faith will always be tested. A vjerni, onaj koji je vjeran, je uvijek kušan. It's through those times of testing that our hearts are purified. Ali kroz kušnje naša se srca počišćuju. It's through those times of testing that our hearts are laid bare. I kroz te kušnje otvaraju se skrivena mjesta našeg srca. That what is in our heart is exposed, it's made visible. Znači, ono što, što mi ne vidimo, što je našem srcu, tada izlazi na vidjelo. We don't always understand the story of what God is doing in our lives. Mi uh, ne, ne svećamo i ne razumimo uvijek ono što uh, upričamo, što nam Bog želi reći u našem životu. But we need to learn to trust him and to trust his character. Ali trebamo učiti kako da imamo povjerenja u njega i da vjerujemo njegovoj naravi, njegovom karakteru. There are times when we just don't understand what he's doing or why he's doing it. Jer ponekad se pitamo, mi ne svećamo što on to radi i zašto to radi. I remember 20 years ago. Sećam se prije 20 godina. I needed to get a visa for India. Trebala mi je viza za Indiju. I should be there for six months. I trebalo bi biti gotovo u šest mjeseci. And I only got three months. Ja sam imao samo tri mjeseca. And I was like, God, I'm going to do your will. Why are you giving me a visa for three months? Ja sam rekao, pa dobro Bože, ja idem da, da činim nešto dobro, da služim tebi za tebe. Zašto si mi dao samo tri mjeseca da dobijem vizu? Halfway through the time there, I had to catch a flight back to Europe to get a, a new visa. Jer zato što sam trebao onda znači na pola puta trebao sam se vratiti u Europu a, i da dobijem novu vizu. I was there just for a few days. Ja sam bio tamo samo na par dana. Three months later my grandfather died. I tri mjeseca kasnije moj djed je umro. On je dobio vizu na tri mjeseca, ne na šest. One of the strongest most personal memories that I have of my grandfather was during those three days. I najsnažnije sjećanje koje ja imam, koje je ostalo tako snažno u ovom mjesecu, su bile, bila ova tri dana s mojim djedom. What is important to us is important to God. Jer ono što je važno nama, važno je Bog. God will often do things which will surprise us. Jer Bog često čini stvari koje nas iznenade. He will do things which we don't understand. Jer čini stvari koje mi ne svačamo. Because he wants to show his love to us. Jer on želi da pokaže svoju ljubav prema nama. A few years ago I was learning to listen to God more. I pri, uh, prije par godina ja sam naučio kako da više slušam Boga. And a strange thing happened. I čudna se stvar dogodila. I would be driving home and God would say, "Don't go this way, go that way." Ja sam se vozio kući i odjednom mi sam čuo glas, "Ne idi tim putem, idi tim putem skreni." And he would have me drive through different different small villages and lanes. I naveo me da, da, vo, da vozim kroz različita mjesta, različita sela, područja. And often God would speak to me. I često mi Bog govori. Recently I moved to a small village. Često mi Bog govori na taj način i nedavno sam se ja preselio u jedno malo selo. Where I'm living now is a place where God often used to guide me to pray. I tamo gdje sada živim je, je mjesto gdje me često Bog pokreće da molim za nešto. A small village in the middle of nowhere. To je jedno malo, malo selo usred ničega. But in this village God gave me another surprise. Ali u tome malom selu Bog me je ponovo iznenadio. It's maybe 40, 50 people there. Može tamo 40, 50 ljudi. But there's another Englishman there. Ali tamo je još jedan Englez. And he's not, not even white, he's black. E nije čak ni bijelas, nego i crnas. I need to tell them because they're yeah. England, uh, from England and they live in Czech Republic. So yes. Okay. Ja sam ga pitala samo da vama objasnim iz Hrvatske BiH. Kevin je inače iz Engleske, ali živi u Češkoj Republici. Zato on govori, tamo je bio još jedan Englez. Samo da shvatite prič. U tom malom selu 45 ljudi. Yes, and, sorry. and my wife is from Africa. A moja supruga je iz Afrike. So, she's... She's normally the only black person around, but in this village there's two, two black. <laughs> Inače gdje god živimo, ona je jedina a, crna osoba, jeli, da, tamno pute a, kože u, u tom mjestu, a sad u ovom malom mjestu sa četrdesetak ljudi, dvije su osobe tamno God's, pute. God's got a sense of humor. E tako da, da Bogo ima jako dobar smisao za humor. Sometimes God gives us a test in the form of a promise. Uh, 
ponekad nas Bog stavi na kušnju kako bi nam um, dao jedno obećanje. I don't know if it's happened to you, but it often happens to me. Ne znam da li se to vama događa, ali jako se često događa meni. That God will give you a word, a great promise. Da vam Bog da riječ, veliko obećanje. And then you suddenly experience the exact opposite. I odjednom totalno suprotno se dogodi. You like God, but what's happening? You promised one thing and the opposite is happening. I, I onda se pitamo, Bože, pa što se događa? Rekao sam mi jedno da će biti, a totalno suprotno se dogodilo toga. Can anyone relate to that? Možda li da se poveže s tim? Okay, a few of us. Mm, yeah. <laughs> da. <laughs> Sometimes when that happens, ponekad kada se to dogodi, it, we need to change our perspective. Moramo promijeniti svo, svoju točku gledišta, svoju perspektivu. God knew that the challenge would come. Bog je znao da će izazov doći. And therefore he gave us the promise. Zato nam je dao obećanje. It's not that the challenge is a response to the promise, but the promise is God's response to the challenge. Uh, znači, nije da nam izazov je odgovor na, na to obećanje, nego od izazova dolazi do obećanja. He's saying, it's okay, keep going. Go, kaže nam to obećanje, kaže, u redu je, samo nastavi. Keep going, I'm with you. Nastavi, ja sam s tobom. Intimacy is about trust. Jer prisnost, kad govorimo o prisnosti, radi se o povjerenju. I remember very clearly about five or six years ago. Sjećam se jasno prije jedno 5-6 godina. I got a young son. Ja imam jednog malog sina. And he was climbing in a tree. I on se penjao na brdo. And suddenly he says, daddy, catch. I odjedno mi on rekao, tata, uhvati me. And he jumps. I samo iskočio z drveta. And I just just catch him. I ja sam ga jednostavno uhvatio, <laughs> sad se mi stalo. <laughs> Total trust in his father. Zato što je on imao povjerenja u mene da će ga ja uhvatiti. God wants us to trust him. Bog želi da imamo povjerenja u njega da mu vjerujemo. Knowing that he will catch us. Da, da znamo da će nas on uhvatiti. God wants us to know his character. Želimo, on, Bog želi da mi upoznamo njegov karakter, njegovu narav. To understand really who he is. Da zaista uistinu shvatimo ono što Bog jest. And to grow in our faith and trust in him. I da rastemo u toj vjeri i u povjerenju u njega. Life as a believer is not always easy. Život vjernika nije uvijek lak. There are times when life is very difficult as a christian a postoje vremena razdoblja našeg života kao kršćana kad je veoma teško but that's to be expected because jesus said take up your cross and follow me ali to je za očekivati zato što nam je isus rekao uzmite uzmi svoj križ i slijedi me one expression of our trust in god is obedience jedan izraz našeg povjerenja bogu u boga jeste poslušnost just as like a child being obedient to the parent because the parent knows best. Je kao što je dijete poslušno roditeljima zato što roditelji znaju bolje što je potrebno. There are times when God asks us to be obedient. I u postoji vremena kad od nas Bog traži da budemo jako poslušni. I want to tell a short story. Želim vam podijeliti samo jednu kratku priču. From Lithuania. Iz Litve. I will tell it in the short version. Ja ću je uskratiti i na kraća verzija. During the communist time, there was a cross which was put up. Uh, tijekom uh, vladne komunista, dok su komunisti bili znači, u Litvi, uh, na jednom brdu se izgradio križ. The officials really didn't like this. I znači službenici, službenicima se nije to svidjelo. So they removed it. I oni su ga uklonili. The next day there were two or three crosses. A sljedeći dan kad su došli tamo su bila dva tri križa, ne so, jedan. So they removed them. Oni su skonali i te križeve. And this went on day after day. I to je tako išlo dan za danom. The result, <laughs> rezultat toga was there were so many crosses. Da toliko križeva posljedno na tom brdašetu. U Litvi nemate veliki brda, to je to je najveće brdo sigurno. I vidite koliko križeva ima. That they gave up trying to remove them. They 
They, they gave up trying yeah. to remove Tako da su odustali da iskonja, svaki put nalaze više i više križeva. I to je brdo to. Mm-hmm. Actually, about 30 or 40 years ago, a university went there. A, prije 30-40 godina a sa sveučilišta su otišli tamo. And they wanted to count how many crosses there are. I htjeli su da izbroje koliko križeva ima na ovom brdašcu. They spent the whole day counting and they said it's impossible. We can't we can't Cijeli work it out. Su, znači, brojali križeve i nisu uspjeli, rekli su ovo je nemoguće. Mi ne možemo da izbrojimo koliko križeva tu ima. When we're obedient to God, we can change the world. Kada smo mi poslušni Bogu, mi možemo promijeniti svijet. Obedience to God can be a dangerous thing. Ali isto tako poslušnost Bogu može biti jako opasno. The first disciples Most of them died. Prvi učenici, većina njih su ubijena. So our God often asks us, God often challenges us. I Bog nas često stavlja na kušnju i pred izazove. I remember one Christian I met in Uzbekistan. I sjećam se jednog kršćana kojeg sam upoznao u Uzbekistanu. His name was Igor. Zva, zvao se Igor. He's actually a Russian. U biti on je Rus. And he'd been in prison because of his faith. I on je uh, proveo godine u zatvoru radi svoje vjere. And in Uzbekistan anyone who is in prison torture is a normal part mm. of life. A uh, u Uzbekistanu svi oni u zatvoru uh, mučenje je dio svakodnevnog života. And yet he had a, a deep and a pure faith. Ali on imao jako duboku i čistu vjeru. And I remember I met him in Uzbekistan and then later in Germany where he did a Bible course. I sećam se ja sam znači upoznao ga u Uzbekistanu i kasnije sam ga ponovo sreo u Njemačkoj na jednom uh, jednom biblijskom tečaju. And he asked me a question, a small question. I on me upitao, pošto mi je jedno kratko pitanje. He said, "Could you take some books to Uzbekistan next time next time you go?" A zamolio me da nešto radi, možeš li neke knjige da poneseš u Uzbekistan kad budeš sljedeći put išao tamo? It's not so easy to answer a question like that when you know what can happen. Nije lako odgovoriti mu na to pitanje kad znate šta se može dogoditi, da vas uhvate sa tim knjigama. But I know that God said to do it. Ali ja sam znao da mi Bog govori da učinim to. So we got on the plane, we we traveled to Uzbekistan. Znači, na, na avion i išli smo do, do Uzbekistana. And there you collect your bags and you you take them through the customs control. I znate kad dođete u zračnoj luci, kad negdje stignete, čekate na svoju prtljagu i onda morate ići znači kroz carinu. They x-ray everything, they check everything. I, oni znači ide sve kroz uh, skener, kroz uh, rengen, sve proviravaju, otvaraju. So we arrived and the bags were delayed. Uh, kad smo i došli na naše putni manša prtljaga nije stigla uh, kasnije. So a few days later we had to go back. I za par dana smo morali se vratiti da podignemo tu prtljagu. They, the official walked with us to collect the bag. Službenici u zračnoj luci su s nama ušli, uzeli su torbe. Then walked with us straight past the x-ray machines, the places I, they check. I s nama su prošli pored rengena i sve pored onog, onog security-a, jel' i tamo što provjeravaju. Said, here, you can go. I samo su mu rekli, potpiš i ovdje možeš ići. When we're obedient to God, God does miraculous things. Jer kada smo mi poslušni Bogu, Bog čini čuda. God's heart is for evangelization. Evangelization. Božje srce je isto srce evangelizacije. Who knows that God loves you? Tko zna da ga Bog voli? Who knows that God loves everybody else? Tko zna da Bog ljubi sve? And he loves Kako them drugo? just as much as you. I ljubi na isti način, voli na isti način kao i tebe. God is passionate about the lost. Jer zato što on ima žar prema izgubljenima. Some of us love evangelizing. A neki od nas voli da evangeliziraju. Some of us hate it. A neki ne vole, mrze to. I belong to the group which really don't like evangelism. Ja, ja pripadam skupini koja ne voli da evangelizira. But I, I have a problem. Ali imam problem. Because sometimes God speaks to me. Ponekad mi Bog govori. And I remember six or seven years ago. Sjećam se prijedno šest, sedam godina. I was on a flight to Kiev. Bio sam na letu za Kiev. And I was seated behind a group of people speaking English. 
I sedio sam iza jedne grupe ljudi koji su govorili na engleskom jeziku. And they were talking about changing the world and influencing society. I govorili su i slušao sam i oni su govorili o tome kako da da promijene svijet, da utječu na društvo. And I thought maybe they were Christians. Ja sam pomislio, oh, možda su oni kršćani. But then they started saying some very strange things. I onda su počeli nekako malo čudno govoriti, nekakve čudne stvari. And it was clear that they belonged to some cult, to the Baha'i movement. Bilo je jasno da, da pripadaju jednom kultu koji se zove Baha'i kult. So I was pray, praying and, ja, and ja sam samo iza keeping njih, to myself. Molio, molio i držao se za sebe. The stewardess comes through the, the cabin selling things. Stewardessa je u tome došla i prodavala, oni znate kad u, u avionu prodaju kavu, čaj, imaju razne igračke i ostalo. They, they were selling also like gifts. Yes, yeah, I was just saying that. And so the, there's a young lady who sat next to the group leader. I bila je jedna mlada uh, dama, mlada djevojka koja je sjedila do voditelja grupe. And she says to him, buy me the teddy bear. I ona mu je rekla, a kupi mi onoga medu. Jer ima to ne poklone jeli koji se kupuju. And he says no. I on je rekao ne. Then God says to me, Tada mi je Bog progovorio, buy her the teddy bear. Kupi joj medu. Kupi joj ti medu. God, no. Ja sam kao, Bože, ne. <laughs> Don't talk to me here. Not nemo, that. Nemoj mi ovdje govoriti, ne sada, ne ovdje. Not that. Ne, ne, i ne to. So I get up to go to the bathroom, I speak to the stewardess. Ja sam odšao do toaleta i onda sam nakon toga razgovarao sa stewardessom. I give her the money. Dao sam joj novac. And then afterwards I I go very quietly back to my seat. I nakon toga polako sam se tiho vratio na svoje sjedalo. Thinking I hope she doesn't notice me. I ja sam se nadao, nadam se da me ova djevojka nije primijetila. Now you know how it is in airplanes. Znate kako je u, u avionima. You know, everyone is seated close together. Svi su svi sjede blizu jedni drugi. She literally climbed over the seat to sit next to me. Ona je doslovice prešla preko sjedišta ovako da bi sjela do njega. To ask me why I bought the teddy bear. I pitala ga zašto si mi kupio toga medu. I didn't really have an excuse other than saying God told me. Ja, ja, ni, ja nisam kažem, imao nikakav drugi izgovor osim da kažem rekao mi je to Bog. God's love for the lost is much more than we realize. Jer to je dokaz znači da Božja ljubav uh, prema izgubljenima je toliko velika um, da mi ne možemo ni pojmiti koliko. And when we're open to him, he will show us a unique way to share with the lost unique to us. I kada se mi otvorimo njemu, on će nam pokazati jedinstveni način uh, nama kako da da dosegnemo do izgubljenih i pomognemo izgubljenima. There's an interesting word in in the gospel of how Jesus describes himself. Ima zanimljiva riječ ka u u evanđelju kako se opisuje. There's a Greek word called Skandalon. Znači, postoji grečka riječ koja se zove skandalon. Which means a rock that makes people stumble, a stone that causes them to fall. To znači kamen spoticanja ili stjena o kojoj su ljudi zapnu. It's interesting that Jesus described himself in this way. Zanimljivo je da se Isus opisuje na taj način. Very often God will fail us. Fail us? Yes. Jako uh, često... Um, će nas um, Isus razočarati. What? <laughs> Our false picture of who God is will fail us. Uh, ne Isus, nego te lažne slike o Bogu i Isusu će nas razočarati. Wherever we have a false picture of who God is, that will fail us. Jer svaki put kada imamo pogrešnu sliku o tome tko Bog jest, to će, doći će do razočaranja. Because we're made in God's image, not us made in His image. Jer mi smo stvoreni na sliku Božju, nije Bog stvoren na našu sliku. Very often God will put stumbling stones for us. I često Bog će pred nama staviti kamen spoticanja. Challenges which will keep us dependent upon Him. Izazovi i kušnje koji će nas držati da budemo ovisni o Njemu. Often a prophet will be tested. Često proroci su na kušnji. By the words which don't come to pass. 
the, the words which don't come to pass. Riječima koje zna da koje izgovori neće do, do take, izgovori riječi, ali ne dotiču druge, ne, ne prolazi. Or God's promises to them which don't go answered. Jer zato što to obećanje koje su dali ne da, nema odgovore na njega. Very often people ministering in healing. Često ljudi koji su u službi ozdravljanja. If you look closely you will see family members who haven't been healed. I ako pogledamo jako blizu te ljudi koji se koji su u službi ozdravljanja, uvijek je neko od njihovi obitelji jako bolestan. God often challenges challenges our heart to believe in him even when situations are jer zato što često Bog stavlja pred izazove i kušnje kako bi mu vjerovali, imali povjerenja o, 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 u njega bez obzira na ono što vidimo oko nas. When you love someone, uh, they know the small things about you. Kada nekoga ljubimo, oni znaju male stvari o nama. Paula knows exactly what I do every morning. Naprimjer, te male stvari koje samo neke ljubi, ljudi koje dobro poznajemo znaju, kao Pola, njegova supruka, ona zna šta ja volim svako jutro kad ustane. The little things which make me me. Jer te, te male stvari koje čine mene, mene, kao ja. When we're intimate with God, we understand the little things about Him. I kada smo u prisnosti s Bogom, onda počinjemo svačati te male stvari o Njemu. We understand His heart. Počinjemo svačati njegovo srce. We know that God loves us. Jer zna, mi znamo da nas Bog ljubi. That God also loves the weak. Ali on također ljubi i slabe. The people on the edge of society, the marginalized. Znači oni uh, marginalizirani i koji su na rubu društva. The smelly, the ugly. Oni koji smrde i koji su ružni. The broken. I oni koji su slomljeni. Those that we find difficult to love. Uh, on ljubi sve te za koje mi prenalazimo teškoću da ih volimo. And that can be I to može biti izazov za nas. How do we treat those I da, da vidimo kako mi uh, se odnosimo prema tim ljudima, kako ih tretiramo. Do we love those who are Lju, volimo li one koje je teško voliti? Or do we justify not giving money to the the alcoholic on the street because he would only buy alcohol. Ili opravdavamo se da ne dajemo novac alkoholičaru na ulici zato što će on tim novcem kupiti alkohol. I don't like that. Ja, meni se to ne sviđa. That challenges me. Kaže, jer to mene stavlja isto pred izazov. But I think God is going to show his heart to us more and more. I ali mislim da nam Bog tako pokaže, pokazuje sve više i više naše srce. And when we understand his heart it will make us uncomfortable. Jer kad mi uh, svatimo njegovo srce, uh, nama će biti neugodnije. Because Jesus is very clear. He says when you do something to the least of these, you did it to me. A Isus jasno kaže, ono što činite najmanjima, meni činite. And if I am a friend of God, if I am a friend of God, I ako sam ja Boži prijatelj, I need to be friends with his friends. Ja trebam da budem prijatelj njegovih prijatelja. One of the first descriptions of Jesus. Jedan od prvih opisa Isusa was that he was the friend of sinners. Da je on prijatelj grešnika. It was not a nice title. A to baš nije lijep naziv, je lijep uloga. It was something which was almost like a he's a friend of sinners. To je bilo više kao ono, aha, pogledaj ga, ma da, gledaj njega, pa on je prijatelj grešnika, on je s grešnicima. God's friends need to become our friends. In, ali njegovi prijatelji trebaju postati naši prijatelji. At Christmas we like to tell nice stories. Za Božić mi volimo pričati lijepe priče. About the shepherds. O, o pastirima. But do we realize what it means to be a shepherd? Ali da li zaista svačamo, da li razumimo što to znači biti pastir? At the time of Jesus there was a saying which parents would would say to each other. Za vrijeme Isus dok je odao zemlju, on bio u svete zemlji, znači za njegova života, ima jedna izreka koju roditelji govore svojoj djeci u među židovima. They say make sure that you raise your children well. I oni govore, znači budi 
osigura da odgojiš svoju djecu na dobar način. So that they don't become a shepherd or a thief. Kako ne bi postali pastiri ili lopovi. These two groups of outcasts form the buck ends of the story of the gospels. A, te dvije grupe, znači skupine ljudi vidimo od početka do kraja evanđelja. The shepherds at the birth, the thieves at the cross. Znači, bili su pastiri na rođenju i uh, lopov na kri, lopovi na križu. God's heart is for all people. Božje srce je za sve ljude. There's two dangers that I see that we have in charismatic communities. Postoje dvije opasnosti, jedno što ja vidim među karizmatskim grupama. The first danger is that we can become lukewarm. Prvi, prva opasnost je da postanemo mlaki. That we can have worship. Da mi mo- možemo mi slaviti. Good feelings. Dobar osjećaj. But we lose the use of the gifts. Ali uh, izgubimo korištenje darova. We start singing, singing in tongues. Mi počinjemo pjevati u jezicima. We start praying for healing. I prestanemo pjevati u molitvi jezicima, pjevati u jezicima. Prestanemo moliti za ozdravljenje. There's a verse which I also don't like in 2 Timothy chapter 3. U drugoj Timotevu uh, po treća glava, znači ima jedan, jedan redak koji se meni osobito ne sviđa. It says in, in the last time, in the last days there will be people who have a form of godliness. They have a, a type of belief in God, but they deny God's power. Uh-huh. Uh, znači u posljednje dane biti će ljudi koji imaju lažnu spoznaju Boga. As charismatics we know the power of God. A mi znamo uh, kao karizmatici Božju moć. We need to be very careful that we don't grow cold and, and lose sight of that power. I trebamo biti jako pozorni uh, i obazrivi da ne bi se zahladili, da se ne bi ohladili i da više ne, ne, ne prepoznajemo tu Božju moć. The second danger which we face is where we get so focused on the gifts. Druga opasnost je ta da smo previše usredotočeni na darove. Seeking to use the gifts and to minister in the gifts. I tražeći stalno da mi koristimo te darove. We get so focused on the gifts of the spirit that we don't allow the fruit of the spirit to grow. I toliko smo usredotočeni na darove duha da uopće ne dopuštamo da se dogode plodovi duha. It's not easy to learn patience or humility. Nije lako učiti se uh, strpljivosti i poniznosti. No one enjoys forgiving those who've hurt them. A niko ne uživa u tome da oprosti onima koji su nas povrijedili. But those are the fruits of the spirit that are important to God. Ali to su plodovi duha koji su jako važni Bogu. God is more interested in our character. Je Bog je Bog uh, puno više zanima naš karakter than our abilities. Nego naše sposobnosti, od naše sposobnosti. Are we willing to pay the price? Yes, we are spremni, a voljni platiti cijenu. The price of intimacy. A cijenu prisnosti. It's very easy to fall in love. Jako je lako se zaljubiti. To have nice feelings. Da imamo fin osjećaj, ugodan osjećaj. But what about when the going gets tough? Ali šta je o tome kada postane teško? You know how it is when you you think oh I want to have children it's so nice. Is not think kako kad mi jeli kad u braka se uzmemo i onda kažemo jo ja želim da imam imamo djecu to je tako divno. And then the reality comes at three o'clock in the morning. I onda stvarnost dođe u 3 sata ujutro. When you haven't slept for days. Kad danima ne spavamo noćima ne spavamo. The child is crying. Dijete plače. Again. I ponovo and being sick again. Yeah, znači ponovo je povraćao, je li bolesno je. The important thing is not what we say but it's what we do. Ali ono što je važno nije ono što mi kažemo, nego ono što mi činimo. Are we willing to pay the price for intimacy with God? Jesmo li spremni platiti cijenu za prisnost Bogom? Before I finish prije nego završim. So a few minutes before the last thing I want to say. Samo par minuta. Very often during worship God will point out different people to me and he will give me a word for them. 
Jako često tijekom slavljenja Bog mi pokaže na neke osobe i da mi riječ za njih. Tijekom slavljenja on mi je pokazao nekoliko različiti osoba. And I've lost the paper. I just got the paper. I'm not used to it. I love it when I love it when that happens. So so I I will I will trust in God. So I believe in God. So one of the the things which got highlighted to me was Ramona. Znači jedna od stvari koju mi Bog prosvetljio jeste Ramona. And I sense that God's going to start highlighting people to you. I imamo se jer Bog kaže da će on početi tebi da isto tako pokazuje određene ljude. You'll start noticing them and you'll know that God's stirring your heart. E počećeš se primjećivati i značiš da Bog pokreće tvoje srce za njih. But he's not going to tell you what he wants to say. I neće ti reći što želi on da kažeš. Until you open your mouth, then it will come. Tek kad otvoriš usta, tada će riječ doći. And I sense God is going to use you to really minister encouragement to people. To 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 encourage people. Aha. Bog te želi iskoristiti da služiš i da potičeš ljude, da bude to tvoj dar, to je tvoj dar, poticati ljude. Roman. Roman. Where is Roman? Roman. God has given you a gift of humility. Roman, Bog ti daje dar poniznosti. But he's saying, are you willing? Are you willing to step out in in his power? Jesi li spreman da da ustaneš u njegovoj moći? Da da iskoračiš u njegovoj moći. You you you're comfortable with being humble because God's made you humble. Jer te bi ugodno da budeš ponizan, jer to je ono što te čini poniznim. But he's going to challenge you to step out and minister in his power. Ali on stavlja izazov pre tebe da iskoračiš i da služiš u njegovoj moći. There's a lady somewhere in the corner, probably Slovak. Uh, I think you were wearing grey. Jedna devojka iz Slovačke. Ja sam ovo prošla s Kevinom, pa tako da... Okay, yeah, I think it was you. God simply said Mary. Bog jednostavno kaže Marija. And I sense that God wants you to treasure his promises in your heart. I osjećam da Bog želi da da ti bude njegova obećanja dragocjena kao blago u tvome srcu. The promises which God will give you which you might not understand but just to cherish them in your heart. Obećanja koja koja će ti Bog dati iako ih nećeš razumjeti, ali on želi da ih ti prihvatiš k srcu i da budu blago u tvome srcu. Alex. God saying that Alex. When God highlighted you and he said Peter, which Peter. 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 Oh yeah. Alex, I see you and he shows me you and the word comes to Peter. He said he's going to make you a rock. He will make you into a stone. If you trust that he is the rock, he's going to make you into a rock. Because you believe that he is a stone and he will make you into a stone. I sense that the importance is in that place of fellowship with him of intimacy with him that he's going to really make you a rock it's not only he is going to make you a rock znači u u tvojoj molitvi aleksi u prisnosti s bogom to je ono što tebe čini stijenom uh piotr piotr yes yeah there he is when i saw you earlier god reminded me of the judges when moses appointed the judges a kad kad sam tebe ugledao kad se moj pogled spremao na tebe došla mi je riječ suci kao suci one koje Mojs je postavio da budu suci God's giving you a wisdom giving you wisdom Bog ti daje mudrost there's a wisdom that he's giving you for practical situations a mudrost za određene praktične situacije Yeah come on the very the very waiting now you know so I'm not sure how to explain this one, but when I saw you, God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of thing that I was going to call you. God gave me a little kind of th
name. Jako to jako přísné jméno. And God saying, I I love you and I I cherish who you are. I Bůh ti káže, já te volím, i já cením ono, co ty jsi. I cherish you and I love you and I want you to know that you are very special to me. I želím te znáš, že si ty jako posilná za mě. Dražen, pavé dražen. Dražen, pavé dražen. Do časní dražené. I sense that God is bringing you into a new season. Osičem, kako vas Bog poziva u jedno novo proječe, novo doba. And the some things which will be left behind. Nešto što će biti ostavljeno, nešto će biti ostavljeno po strani. But it's being left behind because God will bring you into a more significant place. I to će biti, znači, osjeće i za vas je zato što vas Bog podiže na jedno jako posebno značajno mjesto. It's like a letting go so that you can take something up. Nešto što trebate odpustiti kako bi se mogli podići. And I think that's a process, it's not a, there's not an immediacy about it, but there's a process. Znači, to je proces, nije nešto što će se dogoditi preko noći. So, um, comments? I'm looking, picking how many of you are there. Vire ninko koji još ljudi ima. So, there's one very beautiful verse in the Bible. Postoji jedna prelijepa... It's from Zachariah... Prelijepa redak u Bibliji. Zachariah 13.6. U Zahariji 13.6. It says, where did you get these wounds? I gdje kaže, gdje si dobio svoje šest, tako sam malo. These wounds in your hands. Znači, kad je rekao šest, a koliko je upika, kakve su ti to rane po tijelu? God says, I got them in the house of my friends. A on će odgovoriti, izranjena sam kod prijatelja. God is a God who loves us so much that he gave up all for us. Bog kao Bog nas toliko voli da je sve dao za nas. It's interesting that After the resurrection, Jesus still had the scars. I zanimljivo je da nakon uskrsnuća, kad su vidjeli Jezusa, on je imao ožiljke. An intimate sign of his love. I to je, znači, pristan znak njegove ljubavi. I wear a wedding ring. Ja imam vjenčani prsten. But Jesus wears the scars on his hands. A Jezus nosi rane na svome tijelu. And having paid such a high price for us, having paid the great price because we are His pearl of great price. Platio je toliko cijenu zato što smo mi biseri za njega za to i vredimo. He will always love us. Jer on će nas uvijek voliti. He is ours, and we are. He is ours, and we are His. On je naš i mi smo njegovi. Amen.